Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I'm going to make these sweet, pretty mason jar flower vases. I'm making these specifically for a Valentine's Day centerpiece, but I also think that these would look perfect for springtime so you can make them for any reason. They'd look lovely for Easter. I even think they'd be perfect for some spring rustic wedding decor. I love that they have a lot of uses and if you make them once, you can use them all year long. Let's get started. Before you begin, you're going to need a couple of supplies. First, I like to always cover my table whenever I'm doing any kind of a project. We use this craft paper all of the time, and I'm going to link it for you guys in the description below. But my kids use this to color on, we use it for Play-Doh, we use it for every single craft project you can imagine. So this for our family is a must. Then the next thing you're going to need are the mason jars. You can get them in a variety of sizes, or you can just use one size. Next, you're going to want to pick out your paint. I'm using a bare paint and it works perfectly on the mason jars when you mix it with this flood mixture. This helps to eliminate brush and roller marks and it works beautifully on the jars. Then you're going to need a paintbrush, something to put your paint in, and you're going to want some sandpaper too for later in the project. After you have all that, you're also going to want to get some things to decorate your jar. So I used these hearts from Amazon that are just perfect for this project and other projects. We simply drill holes in them. Multiple colors of twine in different sizes and different colors of ribbon in different sizes and textures. Also before you begin, you're going to want to make sure that your mason jars are clean. So the easy way to do that is to wash them under water and make sure that they dry well. Then you're gonna wanna take some rubbing alcohol and take a paper towel or a cotton swab and rub all over the outside of the jar. Once you have all that together, it's time to get started. I'm gonna start by doing my medium sized jars, these ones right here, and I'm just simply gonna use my paint and I'm gonna pour it in. I will put in the description what colors I use so you guys know. Then I'm going to pour in the flood mixture. You don't need a lot of this, but you're going to want to add a decent amount, maybe about a third of the amount of the paint that you used. And then you're going to mix them. Once you have everything all mixed together, you can go ahead and start painting your jar. Go ahead and use nice, even, vertical strokes the flood mixture will help the paint stick to it and it'll help to eliminate those brush marks. Again, I'll go ahead and link that for you in the description below. To paint the top of the jar, you can go ahead and brush horizontally. Once your jar is painted, you're gonna wanna let that dry for about 30 minutes. Since I'm doing so many jars, I'm gonna go ahead and give them all their first coat and then go back and do the second coat on these. Even if you're doing multiple jars, this project moves pretty fast and you can probably finish it all in one day. Also, I love these paintbrushes with the small handles, so I'm gonna go ahead and link those for you guys too. It just makes any craft project a little more manageable for me when I'm sitting here having to turn it and I don't have to mess with the stem of the brush. Now that all my medium jars are painted, I'm going to go ahead and do these small jars. I'm going to do these in a darker pink color. I think the dark color, the light color, and the white will look really beautiful together when it's all on the table. Aren't these so cute? I love them. Perfect little butt bases. Okay, now that all of my mason jars have a first coat on it, I'm going to go ahead and let them dry. I did these white ones the other day so that I would have them ready to go for you guys. This is what one coat looks like on it. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of white on this one and my other one, and you can see that process then too.
Again, you're gonna wanna use nice, even, long brush strokes for this. And just go ahead and coat the jar. You don't want it too thick because you don't wanna get big drips. Okay, so now that all of my jars are painted, I'm gonna go ahead and take these two jars that I fully painted the other day, and I'm gonna rough them up a little bit with sandpaper to give them that vintage rustic look. So they'll end up looking just like this jar looks. You can see I roughed it up a little there, there, on some of the edges here. It makes it look really vintage and really beautiful. If you do have any drips on your bottles, this will be a good time to use the sandpaper to help smooth them out. It should work perfectly. Once you have your jars sanded down so that it looks a little more vintage, you're gonna go ahead and seal your project. I'm gonna do this part outside and you should too because sealer is a little stinky and it's not something you wanna breathe in. Once you've sealed your mason jar, you're gonna wanna let it dry for about an hour. If you notice that you're getting any drips, go ahead and smooth that out with a paper towel. It shouldn't affect the finish at all. I will go ahead and link my sealer down in the description for you guys, but if you have one you've used before that you like, go ahead and use that one. Once everything is dry, go ahead and make them pretty by adding your embellishments. Okay, so now that all my jars are dry, I'm gonna start embellishing them. I have two different colors of twine. I have some lace ribbon, I have some pink ribbon, and I have these sweet little hearts that I got from Amazon that we drill the hole through. I will link them for you in the description below. I'm gonna add these to a couple of the jars just like I did here, and I think they're gonna make it perfect. So cute. So all of the jars will be a little different. I'm not planning to do the same thing on any of them because I want them to look kind of eclectic. I just think that'll look really beautiful when it's all together on the tablescape. So cute, right? Now that all my mason jars are decorated, I'm gonna go ahead and fill them with flowers and create my centerpiece.
Thank you guys so much for joining me today as I created this mason jar DIY project. I hope that you'll subscribe to our channel to keep up with all our DIYs and craft projects, the delicious new recipes, and life here at Sugar Maple Farmhouse.